Hi guys and welcome back for another Get Hooked session with Carly from The Hook Nook. Uh, one of my crochet ladies brought me this picture, well, a picture of this, so we decided to work it out in our session. Now I normally wear mine over a normal mask, but you can do two of them, crochet them together and put a filter inside. Uh, I hope you guys like this video, it's nice and short, easy to follow along with, I hope. We're going to do the shell pattern at the end. On this one, I've done my ear hooks because I knew how long I needed them. However, you can do ties or even crochet in elastic. So, if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I believe then you get notifications every time we do new videos. Thanks guys for coming. So let's get crocheting. Uh, items you will need are a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a crochet hook of your choice. I'm using two strands of DK and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook in order to keep the stitches nice and tight so that the mask is more effective. So let's start with our slip knot. So we start the pattern with a chain of 14 and then we are going to skip that first chain and work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Remember you never count the one that's on the hook and we are going to work 13 single crochets until we get to the end of row 1. So at the end of row 1 we have 13 single crochets, we are now going to start on row 2, chain 1 and turn your work and we will be working in only the back loops of each of our stitches. Now as we have 13 we are going to work 6 single crochets along and then in the 7th we will be doing our increase which will give it that chevron shape. So six single crochets and then in the seventh we will be doing three single crochets in that same stitch and then a single single crochet in the next six stitches along. Remember to only work in the back loop of each stitches but that's five and six and the end of round two. So now turn your work and again only working in the back loops we are going to do one single crochet in each of those stitches. So if we've now added an extra two in the middle we now have a stitch count of 15. So at the end of a row three with one single crochet in each stitch we now have 15 and the next row we want to increase again so we want to find that point. In this case 15 minus the one gives us 14 so we want to do it in the eighth stitch along. So single crochet in the back of the next seven stitches three single crochets in the eighth and then seven single crochets further along the line and then that will bring us to the end of row four. So until we get to a total of 25 stitches we will be increasing on every even row and then just doing one single crochet in each on every odd row and we will continue working in the back loops only. So let's finish this off and I will meet you when you have done, I think it's 12 rows that will bring you up to 25 stitches. So as you can see, we chained 14. In our first row, we did 13 single crochets. We then increase on row two bringing our stitch count up to 15. In row three, we just repeat that. Then in row four, we increase again. And then in row five, we just do the same stitch account sing, uh, again, single crochet in each. And we continue this until we get to 25 stitches increasing on each of the even rows and then on the odd ones just doing a single crochet in each. 
that should bring you to 25 on row 12, I believe. So at the end of row 12, we've done our final increase. We're then going to do the uh, 25 single crochets along in row 13 and then row 14 to 22 we are just going to do one single in each so a stitch count of 25 for each row along so you see we've got to 25 and now or yeah 25 in row 12 and I'm just going to do a single crochet until I get to the end of row 22 which as you can see is here and then we are going to start decreasing in the middle where we increased before so we're going to be decreasing three stitches 25 minus 3 is 22 so that's 11 on either side so we're going to single crochet 11 crochet three together and then single crochet 11 and then same as the other side in then row 24 we are going to just do a single crochet in each so now we are decreasing on the odd rows from 23 onwards and just doing the same on each of the even rows so on row 23 we are going to do 11 single crochets and then we are going to decrease by joining the three in the center together you can do this decrease however you know however i know it as into the first pull the yarn through so we've done 11 so we're going into the first pull the yarn through into the second same again and into the third so we now have four on the hook and chain and pull through all of those and then complete your 11 to finish this has now started to cause a chevron reverse to the other side so in row 24 you will just do a single crochet in each of the back loops and then in row 25 we will decrease again but remember you've now decreased by two so we are now 23 stitches so we will do 10 on either end decrease the three in the middle and continue until we have our 13 stitches and this will equal 44 rows and then we will come back to do the lovely shell pattern now as i said with my lovely green one i knew how long i needed the ear bits so i just continuously did the row round while i was doing my uh, pattern and i did 27 chains in between in order to make my ear holes however in this one we will be making them adjustable so at the end i have 34 rows i folded mine in half to find the middle as i wanted it to be equal on either side and then i just used these bits of extra yarn to separate where each of my shells and my single crochets would be so that they're equally spread now technically each of those would equal six but you can space them in so that you get six across it and it it still works well so i put one in the middle which would be a single crochet one on either end which would be single crochets and then evenly space the three shells in between each of those now the tie sections on either side you can make as long as you want i worked mine out at about 50 chains gives me space to tie and be adjustable so i worked with 50 before i started building on my shells we are then going to a single crochet into the first marker that we put in right at the end and then we are going to do five double crochets into the next marker now the length of those double crochets equals a about two rows so if you've spaced them evenly it shouldn't pull your work at all the middle marker that you place should be a single crochet and that will give you an even number of shells on either side of the nose bit as it were and then once you've finished with the last single crochet at the end we're going to chain another 50 to do our last strap flip our work and do it on the other side
As you can see, I've uh, completed the top row or perhaps the bottom row of the shells and my chain 50 at the end is my strap. Now, in order to keep your uh, pattern the right way, you want to turn your work upside down and now you're working from the other side along and that will keep the pattern of the shells the same on both sides as if you know or as if you crochet you'll know that the front side is always the nice side the back side a little bit funky so you it's up to you if you want to alternate however i turn my work and work back the other way to keep my shells facing in the same direction so here we have our completed mask with adjustable straps all we need to do is grab our darning needle hide those ends in through back through again, tidy them up, snip them off, and our mask is ready to be worn. You can either wear them over a disposable mask, as I often do, or before you do the edging, you can do two of them, and then just uh, do the shells, linking them both together, although do do the top one separately, so that you have a little pocket to place your filter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that video if you haven't already please hit like and subscribe it shows us that you've enjoyed it and lets us know to keep going as it's now october 2020 not only is this great for covering masks but it's also great for keeping your face warm as the cold weather is on its way it's nice to see you guys again hope to see you again soon bye